Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your psychic and tarot readings for the rest of February 2017. So that's covering the 20th till the 28th of February 2017. Um, because I was traveling earlier in the month and then I had some health issues, um, I haven't been able to post to my regular schedule, um, but hopefully we'll be back on track for March. Um, so we will be using the Spiral Tarot deck uh, and doing a modified Celtic Cross here for the uh, tarot portion and then the Psychic Oracle cards uh, for the Psychic Messages uh, in the second part of the reading. Okay, so uh, please remember that these are general readings so they may not apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Um, make sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings to get additional insight that may resonate better with you. And of course, keep in mind for the messages that come through. Uh, they may apply exactly as they come through. They may apply uh, a little bit differently. So an open mind is always um, required. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for joining me and thank you very much for all your support. Uh, if you're interested in private readings, all the links you need are in the description box below. So let's just jump in. I hope you enjoy your readings and that you have a wonderful uh, rest of the month. Hi Capricorn and welcome to your reading. Uh, let's jump in and see what's coming up for you uh, during the rest of February 2017. So at the bottom of the deck is your overall energy. We have the Judgment card and this is a major arcana card for you um, and it talks about a time of positive change, uh, good news coming to you, uh, good health, okay, with the judgment card here. It can be a wake-up call. It can be uh, good news in terms of assessments, uh, reviews, anything like that with the judgment card. And it can also be news that frees you from a situation that releases you from a commitment or news that... Um, gives you a feeling of relief as well, okay, with the judgment card here. It is also a card that talks about karma. Uh, it can also be second chances, uh, clean slates and starting over, okay, with the judgment card. In your current situation, we have the Ten of Wands. So with the Ten of Wands, this is feeling stuck, feeling burdened, feeling confused, uh, not having a clear perspective on what's going on and this is because you know of all the responsibilities that you're focused on of all the pressure that you put on yourself um, and it's also a card that talks about trying to keep things as they are when actually they're meant to change okay the judgment card here is talking about change and rising up and moving to the next level uh, and with the Ten of Wands, some of you may be unsure or uncertain about this change and you're trying to keep things the way they are. So you may be dealing with uh, resisting new opportunities or resisting change. And that is what is clouding your judgment and that is what is giving you a really hard time or making you feel stuck or making you feel like you can't move forward. Um, this is also something that you're asked to be mindful of your health here, okay? Because the Ten of Wands can talk about exhaustion, working yourself sick, um, focusing on the wrong things, not taking care of yourself. Uh, it, it is a card that can represent you doing everything for everyone else, but not really taking care of yourself, okay? So it's something to be mindful of because it is affecting your health or it has been affecting your health. Um, and this could also be being burdened by stress because maybe you're waiting to hear on something. You could also be looking at the end of a phase with the Ten of Wands and you're not sure where you're going to go from here and so maybe that's where the stress is coming from for some of you as well. It's crossed by the Three of Swords. Um, with the Three of Swords here, what's going to help you or hinder you? It is a card that talks about heartache, heartbreak, sorrow, disappointment, sacrifice. Um... It can also represent separation, temporary separation. Maybe you have to be away from friends, family, or your partner, uh, or they have to be away from you for a while. It is temporary, 
um, though with the three, three of swords here, but you're asked to focus on what you can do. You're asked to uh, stay positive and be constructive as opposed to dwelling on the things that you can't control. For those of you, you could be looking at the end of a relationship here and it kind of breaks your heart, but you have to do it because with the Ten of Wands, it's been a one-sided relationship for a really long time and you've been doing all the work and it has been feeling like work, not a relationship. So with the Three of Swords, you're looking at ending the relationship with the Judgment card. You're looking at freeing yourself from that relationship and maybe you're worried uh, and stressed over the conversation where you're going to have to let the other person know what you're planning to do. For those of you, um, you are feeling isolated or you're feeling like you have to do everything yourself um, or physically isolated, maybe you're not close to friends and family and that's causing a lot of pressure, that's causing a lot of stress for you. For this, this is the end of a job or the end of a phase. Uh, or the end of one position and now you're looking at okay what happens next because the ten of wands is a completion the three of swords is something that you're not completely happy about uh, so it could have been a difficult time with a job but then the judgment card here does represent good news coming your way so maybe a second chance or a positive review or a new job being offered to you okay in the foundation we have the king of cups so the king of cups and why things are the way they are uh, this is a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I feel like this person could be someone offering you a job, or this could be someone telling you, hey, this position is over, but we have another one for you. Um, the King of Cups, I often see the King of Cups as someone in HR or someone working in recruitment, um, someone who's an intermediary uh, when it comes to business, when it comes to work. Um, dealing with people, okay, not so much the finances, so dealing with the people, with human resources, if you will. Um, and so I feel that this person may help you through this transition, okay, and kind of ease the burden and the stress. For those of you, you could be leaving this King of Cups person because the relationship is just work now. You're doing all the work. They're distant. They're cold. They're manipulative. Uh, and with the Three of Swords, it just needs to end. For others of you, this could be, you know, this person doing this to you. You know, and it may be that you're blindsided about this. It may be that uh, you don't know how to handle it. Uh, I feel that if there is a break, for some of you, it's going to be just temporary. Uh, and you're going to have a second chance. You're going to get back together. For others of you... I feel like this could be someone coming from the past, asking for a second chance, uh, or you are reuniting, reconnecting with this person, uh, and you haven't seen them in a while. There's been time space between the two of you, but it was heavy energy there, okay? Or things unsaid, or even you may have been carrying a torch for this person all this time, or even them for you, for, for those of you. In the past, we have the Ace of Wands, so with the Ace of Wands, this is talking about a new job. It could talk about um, a new opportunity for work, a new opportunity for your creative endeavors. Um, it can also talk about something that started off really nice, fun, exciting, and it ended up being the Ten of Wands situation. Maybe this is a fire sign for you, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Or this is someone who's very passionate, who is very dynamic, who is very in, you know exciting, different. Uh, maybe from a different land, maybe you had a different type of relationship with this person, new experiences, so it started out great and uh, it ended the way it did with the Ten of Wands here with you being burdened and uh, stressed out and exhausted. For those of you, this can also represent a heated argument, things that were said in the heat of the moment and maybe that's what caused a rift or a temporary separation as well. Or it is this new job opportunity that was discussed uh, with this King of Cups person. In your crowning thoughts, we have the Four of Cups. 
So with the Four of Cups, uh, this is a card that talks about being bored, being discontent, being disappointed. Um, with the Four of Cups, it is, it's almost like a voluntary pity party, okay? Uh, things are not as bad as they seem, but the Four of Cups happens when we choose to focus on what makes us sad, on what makes us uh, unhappy, on one, what gives us um, sorrow, as opposed to more positive things, okay? Um, in your thoughts, okay, it could be that someone's coming back and you had a on again, off again relationship with this person. And so you're kind of bored, you know the history, you know um, what happened in the past. And so you're not sure you could even trust this person, but you're still kind of reliving what happened between the two of them in the past, all the disappointment and the sorrow. Um, the thing is here, you have the Ace of Cups being offered to you. So either this person has come back and now they have changed. Uh, and they do mean what they say, uh, or the Four of Cups can be a water sign offering true love to you. Um, maybe you're ending things with the fire sign and the water sign is offering true love to you, okay, for, for some of you. So fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. For those of you, this is um, opportunity something offered to you maybe from this king of cups if it's in a job sense or, or with anything else that you're focused on this is an opportunity to do something new to do something different but with the four of cups you thought things were going to go differently you expected to hear something else you expected to hear things uh at a different time you had different expectations and you find it difficult to let go of your expectations and take the opportunities as they are presented to you even though they may be better than what you expected, if that makes sense. So just be mindful of your focus, okay? Do what you can, um, focus on positive things, be constructive as much as you can, um, and it's gonna work out. You have good opportunities on the way, definitely. And in the outcome position, we have the Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles, so this is job offer, for some of you, this is going back to school. For those, this is a new job that comes with training or a new job that comes with um, all the knowledge that you're going to need, basically. They do a very proper handover. Uh, or it comes with a training period before you're actually going to do the work. Um, this could be uh, new relationships that are stable, okay? You have the opportunity to have a long-lasting, stable relationship if you nurture it properly. Um, the Page of Pentacles is also good news about money, um, things being granted to you or uh, requests accepted, uh, good news about loans, mortgages, um, new jobs, new ways of making money as well, about property, okay, could also come up here with the Ten of Wands, maybe you're looking at moving and the Judgment card, um, good news about health as well. Uh, getting a second chance with health for some of you um and maybe good news about children as well maybe you know you've been carrying a burden uh in terms of trying and trying and trying to get pregnant and it's not been happening i feel like this is a good time with the judgment card here um it's a good time to try again but with the four of cups do things differently try a different thing try a different approach um, and definitely have positive expectations. That's going to make a big difference. Okay. Let's look at your psychic messages. <laughs> we have believe and succeed. And we were just talking about having positive expectations and you're going to succeed. So with this energy, uh, definitely focus on your mindset comes up. Okay. You have to try to be positive, to be constructive see yourself succeed and you will okay with this energy further this could be going on a trip i feel like it's to do with uh for some of you are pursuing a, a dream i feel like you've always wanted to travel uh and now you're starting that dream okay for those of you this could be traveling for work this could be traveling to be with family Further, this is traveling to uh, reunite with your partner if you have been apart. New worlds, 
okay is what i hear so for some of you this is definitely a time for new experiences it can be a new world in the sense that you're traveling to a new place to a place you've never been before but new worlds it can also talk about new opportunities being presented to you that you didn't have access to before so that could be meeting someone that you can have a healthy long-lasting stable relationship with um, meeting someone that makes you think about your future or even about family this could be starting a new career and it's something you've never done before but um, it's a new world for you and it's exciting taking on a different role so even if it's moving up or advancement, maybe until now you were happy where you were and now you have a new opportunity and a new world opens up to you where you have more authority now, more power, uh, independence, responsibilities, but also different perks here. You're meeting new people, making different kinds of contacts for some of you. A lot of new experiences definitely happening um, for some of you during this time. It can be something as simple as you change your diet and you never thought you would, to talking about marriage, even though you didn't see yourself as the marrying type, to changing your career, doing something you've always loved to do even though it's not the safest choice. New places, new people. And a newfound attitude also comes up here. Um, visualizing exercises are definitely gonna help you during this time see yourself happy. For some of you, I feel like you're, you're um, doing the whole fake it till you make it exercise. I feel like it will pay off if uh, you're in a situation where um, maybe you're recovering from depression or you're trying to um, be more positive, have a different outlook on life. Feel that fake it till you make it is definitely going to work for you if you give it a proper chance. For some of you, I feel like something you've been going around in circles with, uh, you find a way out or you find a way to change. Same old, same old, same old, same old that's been happening. For some of you, I'm, I'm seeing you pause things or take pause and reassess. Pause, reassess, or pause, rewind comes up. Taking a second look at things is going to give you answers. For some of you, I feel like you're going to become aware of certain patterns in your behavior or your way of thinking that you didn't even know that you were following, that you were doing, okay? You didn't know that you were reacting in the same thing, uh, in the same way to uh, certain situations. You didn't know that you were reacting the way your parents used to. Uh, to a certain type of situation and I feel like there's going to be a, this moment where you're going to see things in a different light and be like I always do this I'm always jumping the gun okay is what I hear or um, I always react this way 
and I feel like you're going to say, okay, I'm going to do things differently now. I'm going to react in a different way now. Breaking patterns comes up here for some of you. I feel like this is going to be a big thing towards healing and uh, having a healthier attitude, more confident attitude. Study comes up here or learning new things. Uh, a stronger focus on your faith or spirituality comes up. Looking for answers. Turning to your faith for answers or turning to spirituality for answers. I feel like, you know, if, if, if someone asks you to do something, when it comes to a spiritual practice, uh, if you're going to have, you know, the initial reaction of this is silly, I'm not even going to do this, I don't know why I ever thought this was going to give me answers, stick with it, okay, observe, see yourself, notice what's going on, notice what you're thinking, and if this is what you're thinking, that this is silly and it's never going to work and I don't even know what I'm doing here, see it through. Give it a chance. I feel like it's going to really open your eyes to a new way of seeing things and a new way of being. And it will give you the answers that you're looking for. Okay. So that's the ring that I have for you. I hope that it makes sense, that it helps you. Um, thank you again for joining me. I'm looking forward to your comments. Uh, thank you again for all your support. I do appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful time ahead and I will talk to you in the March videos. Take care.